Thank you to Kettering University and Stryker Careers for their continued support. Learn more at the end of this video. What's up guys, it's Egan from First Updates Now. Uh, here to talk about a little bit of what's been going on in the state of Georgia, as far as FTC's been going on. The season's been going on a little bit, you know, we're now into November. And we're starting to see what, uh, what teams are really capable of. We had eight meets out of the nine leagues today. Score cap for the state, we're looking at about 140 points that teams are getting up to. Seeing fairly consistent around 120 for the top teams, right? We've got some teams to look at, uh, myself in the Marietta League. Um, Robotic Eagles and Ultraviolet, got a rep, getting high consistent scores. Uh, it is important to note that there's a big difference between teams that we're seeing do good in Teleop and teams that we're seeing do good in Autonomous and Endgame. We kind of expected a bit of a split between what teams would be doing, um, but the Ducks is really huge, right? Six points per Duck is a lot. Uh, Ultraviolet, we're able to max out at 12 ducks in a game. A lot of the teams are either not doing ducks and scoring or doing ducks and not scoring. So we're seeing a really big um, sort of parallel there, mutually exclusive results. There's some strong performance coming out of our Atlanta leagues, Marist, um, Athens, 120 points out of some of those teams. Um, if you're looking for teams to look out at, duck ties and zip tape and Darbots up in uh, North Georgia, Robotics in Macon, High Voltage over in the Maris League, and Eagle Maniacs in Jacksonville League. So a lot of strong performance coming out of Georgia. We'll see how it progresses throughout the season. Uh, let's check out some of the matches. Batteries Not Included is always a team to watch in Georgia. Just like a lot of other top teams in the state, they kind of start off in a slow, steady incline from the leagues going up to the champs and state championship. So it'll be interesting to see sort of where they spring off from, from this middle of the pack spot uh, at the league meets to potentially being a top contender. They're definitely a team to look at in Georgia. Milton is by far the top of the league right now and possibly even in the state. They were a first pick for the runner-up alliance back in Skystone and they just have totally consistent scoring, able to score up to the top level and able to do it at a reasonable pace, putting them at a clear number one seed uh, after the league meet was over. It'll be interesting to see how they improve as the season continues. Defense played a major part in the league matches today. Uh, here we've got a highlight from Ultraviolet going into the opposing Alliance warehouse and really just disrupting things. You know, a lot of teams are still running 18 by 18 robots. You know, um, for some teams that do custom, it can sort of happen later in the season that they transition to the robot that they want. So we're still seeing a lot of collisions and a lot of um, a lot of really interesting defensive plays coming out just because there's a lot of space taken up on the field by these robots. And now on to the end game. Duck performance was fairly strong across the league. We were seeing maybe three ducks averaging. Ultraviolet was able to score an 11 duck endgame and fully park, putting them at the top of the leaderboard for endgame performance. Thanks for checking out what's going on in Georgia. Be sure to stay tuned in to First Updates now for more robotics content coming your way. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Don't just sit in class. Kettering University is the only school in the U.S. that allows you to work as an engineer your first year with their three-month-on, three-month-off co-op programs. If you are a U.S. student grades 8 through 12, scan the QR code to stay up-to-date on info and events happening at Kettering and get a free Kettering t-shirt when you sign up by December 12, 2021. We'd like to thank Stryker for their continued support of First Updates Now. Stryker's internship portal is now open and available. Discover internships and rotational programs located around the world, including their headquarters in Michigan, when you go to careers.com. S-T-R-Y-K-E-R dot com and click on students and graduates.